Welcome to Chasm Cloud Personal. This video will walk you through using the platform. Chasm Cloud Personal is a software as a service solution intended for individuals looking for the most secure and private way to interact with the internet. Depending on the tier you subscribe to, you will have access to various browsers and desktop environments. When you signed up for Chasm Cloud Personal, you had the option to create an account with an email address or to sign up using a trusted third party account such as Google. Use the email address and password fields and click Login if you created an account using your email address. Otherwise, click the Continue with Google button. From your profile, you can manage your subscriptions, update your payment information, cancel your subscription, and have access to your statements. You can also adjust your subscription tier at any time. In the Settings section, you can set your default workspace. If you have the Chasm Workspaces browser extension installed on your local browser, you will be able to right-click on a link and select Open Link in Chasm. The default browser you have selected in this setting will be launched in a new tab and navigate to the link you selected. In the settings, you can also change the UI theme. Back on the dashboard, you can view your usage summary down below, including a detailed history of sessions launched. When launching a session, you'll have the option to select a deployment zone. A deployment zone is a region in the world you can choose to have your session deployed to. By default, the closest region is used. Keep in mind that the further you are from the deployment zone, the more latency there will be. You'll also have an option to choose how you want the new session to open, whether the current tab, a new tab, or a new window. Inside the session, you'll have access to the control panel. Sound out is enabled by default. Microphone pass-through can be enabled, and you can copy text into the session and out of the session using the clipboard control panel. If your local browser is Chromium-based, there's no need to use the control panel. The clipboard will work seamlessly between your local and remote clipboard, even for images. If your local browser is not Chromium-based, such as Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari, you will be limited to using text only through the control panel. When you download files on the remote browser, you can then download them to your local computer. Here I'm saving this image within my session, and now I can download it from the control panel. The reverse is also true. You can upload files from your local computer to the remote session. You can adjust the stream quality of your session. Medium provides a nice balance between video quality and bandwidth utilization, while high, extreme, and lossless provide increasing degrees of stream quality and bandwidth utilization. Putting your session into sharing mode provides you a view-only link where users can come join your session. There's a chat functionality on the right of the session. In the advanced section, you will find additional features. The keyboard control allows you to bring up your native on-screen keyboard for mobile devices. This control should automatically be displayed if you are on a mobile device. IME input mode allows for keyboard input for languages with large symbol sets such as Japanese or Hindi. Game mode puts the cursor in relative mode and locks at center screen. This is required for first person shooters for example. Pointer lock keeps the cursor within the boundary of the browser window. You can press the escape key to exit game mode or pointer lock mode at any time. The workspaces button will put you back at the workspaces dashboard but leave your session open. This allows you to create other sessions or switch between running sessions. When you have multiple sessions open, each running session subtracts from your monthly allocated time, which ranges from 100 hours to 300 hours, depending on what tier you're on. You can log out from the control panel. Logging out will not delete your session. However, it will automatically be deleted after the idle session timeout is exceeded. The idle session timeout ranges from 20 to 60 minutes, depending on what tier you're on. 
Finally, you can delete the session from the control panel. You can also delete running sessions from the dashboard. Thank you for subscribing to Chasm Cloud Personal.